Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. And today we're going to be going over how to use the pen tool. And we're going to recreate this logo. This logo is by Bixby. And they make uh, electric engine stand-up paddle boards um, that I want. <laughs> I am not assuming that Bixby is going to sponsor my graphic design video. Uh, I just like what they're doing and I think their logo is simple enough that we can try and recreate it relatively quickly. So you see here their logo. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the sniping tool and we're going to grab it and then we're going to go back over into Affinity Designer and we're going to hide what we have currently and here I actually had this done already but we're going to paste it and see this tiny little uh, roster image and we're going to choose the pen tool and you can see the shortcuts over here are displayed by key press OSD uh, which I'll put the link in the description all right so here let's click enter <clears throat> now we're using this logo right here now the first probably five times that I tried to do this video um, it was a hot mess it was <laughs> so <laughs> difficult I'm really still learning how to do a variety of different things and making a, uh, a ring or a donut um, is really difficult to do from scratch. And there's a couple different ways to do that. I'm gonna go through that in the very beginning just so you know how to do it. And then I'm gonna show you why you should not do it. All right, it's time for our video riddle. The riddle today is better old than young. The healthier it is, the smaller it will be. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do the basic way. How do you cut out a shape? So if I draw a circle right here, and you can see I already have the color selected, uh, I need to press Control to get it to go from my starting point, and Shift to make it a perfect circle. So let's make it this first one here. We're going to deselect those and switch back to the selection tool, which again is right here. That's V. So we have it right here, and we're going to make a duplicate by holding down Alt, dragging off, releasing Alt, and putting it back in the same spot. Control Shift, shrink it down, release those, and we're going to uh, select both the inside and the outside circles here so that it's one part. Go up here and choose Subtract. Now we have a donut, which is what they like to call it, a donut. All right, so pretty simple, not too hard. Um, we'll go ahead and use this shape for the inside. Um, although you notice that it's not quite the same thickness here. So let's go ahead and undo that and adjust this inside shape. So we're gonna do Control and Shift to make sure that it scales from the inside. And let's go ahead and I think I maybe need to do this a little bit sooner in the process, okay. All right, shift undo. Okay, so here we are, and let's go control shift and shrink it down, so it's about the right size. We'll keep shift selected, select both over here, you can see, and then we're going to delete. All right, and let's nudge this up a little bit. Uh, let's nudge it a little faster. Okay, there we go, that's where I want it. Now the next step, we're gonna make this uh, outside one and we're gonna do this the easy way. So we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, deselect this donut. And over here, you can see, here's the donut tool. And we are going to select the cog tool. This thing is a lifesaver. Again, if we start here in the middle and drag out control, we'll place it in the middle. Shift will make it a perfect circle. Get it to about the right size. We're gonna deselect these two and we're gonna choose teeth. I believe I counted these earlier as eight. So I'll press right here, eight, enter. And that is the assist pad, and this is the artist pad from Tablet Pro. This looks pretty good. We're gonna drop the opacity down so we can see where we're at. Okay, so the inside circle, the outside circle are a little off, so we're gonna grab these little handles and this handle right here and bring it all the way out. Looks pretty good. This looks like this is a little bit narrower. 
All right, that looks pretty close, and we're not going to uh, get stuck doing a thousand variations of the same thing uh, because this is the tutorial and doesn't really need to be perfect. All right, so we're going to select the selection tool again, and I'm moving this off to the side so we can get a good color. Now, one thing that took me a long time to figure out how to do is here if I choose fill, I kept clicking on this icon right here, and this does not work the way that I want it to. Actually, dragging this color from this little color dot tends to work better. So this is selected, I'm gonna double tap right here, and that's going to fill that color. Now I have my snapping tools on, uh, pretty much all of them, because I like the snapping easily to the grid and snapping to other different points along this path. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom in. And uh, let's increase the opacity. Or actually, we'll leave it right here, how it is right now. So I went through a whole bunch of different ways. How do I cut this out? And I used the pen tool and the node tool. And by the way, this might need to be converted into, uh, let's see, layer convert to curves, which is control R. Okay, so now that we have the right number and right size, we're gonna convert it to curves so that we can edit it easier. So I did all these different things where you're moving this and this and creating a new point somewhere here in the middle and moving that and doing all this to try and get this to fit and dissecting this line and it was a pain in the butt. Um, I'm sure there's an easy way to do it that way, but uh, we're not gonna go into it. Okay, so everything's back where it was. All we're gonna do is we're gonna choose this shape tool right here and we're gonna drag a shape just like this and uh, within the rough path here. And since I have snap on, you can see when this turns yellow, you can see it's connected right there. So then we're gonna use shift, select inside and outside, and we're going to delete. And now we have a nice cutout here, and that actually is probably too far on this side. So let's go ahead and go back and move this in a little bit. And uh, let's say this is moving a little too fast for my sake, or for my preferences, you can drag with the selected and control does the opposite of making it a little bit of a uh, different dragging or resizing process. Okay, so now we have that, select both. And again, remember to deselect these when you click these buttons. Okay, now we have our cutout and let's make a new one, this color. So we're gonna make a, another cutout shape here. Um, but what we're gonna do is actually undo what we just did. We're going to make a clone of this because I want this right here, this shape to be um, <clears throat> with the same curve right here. And we can do this a couple different ways, but we're gonna go back to prior to this cutout. Okay, so we have here, and this, we're gonna choose the selection tool, press Alt, and we're gonna drag out a copy, and just put it right back, and then we're going to hide it. Okay, select the one underneath, and now we'll repeat this process here. And let's do this the other way. So we can get this to snap. And uh, let's use the node tool. It's not snapping how it was before, but that's okay. All right, and we'll hit Shift, select the two, and delete. But now we have a pretty nice cutout here, and then we're going to go into the other one. I'm gonna hide this one, and turn this one on, and then we're gonna get this little blue swatch right here. Select this, and then we're gonna use this right here. And for this purpose, this is gonna be good enough. We're not gonna get crazy with this. And let's make that a little bigger. Uh, we can go ahead and choose fill and color. And this color we're gonna drag over to here and then double tap. Then we're going to take this shape, shift, and this one, and we're going to choose intersect. So you can see here we have these two just where they cross paths. 
All right, so here we're gonna take these two shapes, hit shift again, select both shapes, combine them, and then let's go ahead and finish this up. So we're going to show here, this one that we hid, increase the opacity back up, and let's hide the image we used as a reference. That's it, you guys, and we could tweak this a little more, um, you know, make sure the gaps are better and, and probably use a couple different tools to make this a better one, but this should give you a, a decent idea of how to do a basic logo. And in the next video, I'm gonna go into some really advanced pen tool um, stuff. Uh, and that's this pen tool, not uh, the Tablet Pro pen tool. All right, so did you guys figure out the daily riddle? The answer's coming up in just a few seconds. The answer is a wound. Wound. Like a scar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it was uh, something I've wanted to make for a long time. And so, uh, <laughs> anyway, here it is. If you like this kind of video, please let me know. I'm hoping to do some more uh, sort of speed paint demonstrations of how I use uh, these different programs in a way that's useful, whether you use Tablet Pro or not. So there's some tutorial elements and training included with the addition of the artist pad, which really doesn't need a whole lot of description. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, please subscribe for more content like this and stay creative.